What's up guys, Duck Opinion here, doing another part of our What If Survival series, and it's time for more random rambling. So, yeah man, I'm gonna ramble some more. If you missed it last episode, I rambled about how being a YouTuber sucks, and how it's just, you'll never succeed at it. It's like probably the worst career that you should probably never try, okay? I'm just telling you now. You, you might think it's cool, you might think it's all glamorous, but go in the last video and you'll see that even if you think I'm making it, I'm not, and it sucks. So, today, this week, I want to talk about dreams. Now, one of my first dreams that I ever can remember is I love to sing, and I always want to be a famous singer. Now, I'm sure you do too. I'm sure everybody in the world wants to become a famous singer, because they do. It's the truth. I've played in a band before. I'm actually still in a band. I just don't play live, and I don't put out music anymore. I mean, I would still maybe one day do something with the band, but I learned something about being in a band. It's just, I lo it's, it's all about life. We live in a society that is overpopulated, and no matter what you want to do, there's someone out there that wants, wants it more. There's someone out there that will sit there and literally, they will kill you. They will take your life just to get ahead of you an inch, just to get in line more, you know? And it's true. There, there's people out there, especially in the music world. There's people that want to have fame so bad that they'll take your life. They'll blow up your car. They'll destroy your equipment. They'll ruin your guitars. They'll steal your amps. They'll do whatever they can to make sure that they proceed and you don't. And that's in every career. Every career you can think of is like that. Any of them. And, I mean, I hate it. Music nowadays is never, it, it never will be about, is the music good? It will never be about, it does it have soul? Does it have heart? Does it have good melodies? All music is about, from here on out, especially pop music, is about sex. It's about a dude showing his fucking penis and wanting you to fuck him, or a girl showing her tits and trying to sell her sex too. That's all music is about. Now, get, don't get me wrong, there's some music out there that is heartfelt, that is passionate, and some of it actually gets on the radio and actually gets in there, but most of it, we live in times where it's all about crappy dubstep music, which isn't no soul, isn't no heart, it's just someone making fart sounds and a keyboard. It's, it's no heart to it. There's no soul to it. It's all dead noise for people that get wasted at parties and clubs to jam to. That's all music is now. The times that I would have made it in music would have been the 80s when music had hearts and maybe the 90s because I write music to help people out. I write music to try to help people in depression to try to be like, hey, you should hang on. You know, there's more to life than this depression you see. But people don't want that. People want to get fucked up and listen to clubs and listen to black people talk about how much money they have and how many women they slept. But that's all people care about. They don't care about, you know, a kid singing a cool song about his daughter and how it's awesome and how much he loves her. A kid trying to help someone out. They don't care. They just care about drugs, sex, and rock and roll. And that's I don't I don't care about that shit. I honestly have really never cared about that shit. When I got into music, it was never for that. And it's kind of why I got out of music. Like, for instance, like I want to be, be a rock star. But here's what I envision being a rock star. I'm on a bus, this awesome bus, with my family traveling the world. We wake up in a different city. We go look around it and have a great time exploring a different city. We meet a couple hardcore fans that love the music. Not that want to fucking suck my dick, but love the music. And come up to me like, oh my god, this song changed my life. Can I get a picture of you? Can you sign this? Thank you so much. And then go out and uh, go to go to the uh, club or whatever, and not go in the bars and stuff because I hate bars. But just go on stage, do my thing, and then meet my fans at the end of it, and then go to the next tour. You know, and then go and record a record, record it live, show everyone the passion in it, and just have fun. That's what I envisioned. That's what I want to live the dream. The reality is this. It's just like my buddy Will from William Control. He's one of my heroes I look up to. He really shouldn't be because he's really just a sex selling tool. But his life, he has a little boy. He has a wife, but he never sees them because he's on tour. And I've seen him on tour many times. He goes to shitty bar after shitty bar and does his little, you know, set, 
smokes, drinks in a shitty bar, and then goes to his little van, sleeps, and drives to the next town. I'm sorry, but I personally hate bars. I hate bars. I don't want to hang out in a bar every single day full of smoke, drunk, alcoholic, piece of shit people. I hate bars. That's the last thing I ever want to do. The last thing I ever want to do is be away from Harley, be away from my daughter, be away from my wife. Last thing I ever want to do is be like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I have to go on tour for two months to promote this album that probably won't sell, but I have to try this because I'm living my dreams, you know? No, no, no. My dreams is not to leave to go play for nobody in smoky, stinky bars that no one will listen to me. I'm sorry, that's not my dream. And if that's how I have to start off to live that dream, well, that's not how I want it. And that's, that's why I don't, you know, that's why I kind of stopped playing. Because that's not what I was looking for in my dream. Like, my dream didn't consist of me leaving my kids to fucking, you know... My, to go, you know, my dreams didn't re, re, my dreams didn't require me to have to fucking write music and put my soul and heart into it for no one to listen to. So, I gave up. I said, my music's not selling. It never sold. I mean, I may have sold a couple copies on here with some people that just wanted to buy some shirts to help support, but I never, my music has never sold. I've never sold more than 10 copies of a CD, and i put out five CDs. I am nobody, and I never will be anybody. And that's okay, because, again, the fame, the glory, it's all fake. It's all not true. So, I mean, yeah, we all want to live that rock star life, man. We all want to be fucking... We all want to be Tom DeLonge, where we can just fucking be a multi-millionaire rock star. We don't have to go on tour all the time. We don't have to put out a CD every two months to fucking survive, because we're a multi-millionaire who made it in the 90s. But now, I haven't bought a real CD in years. Last AFI, bootleg. Last fucking William Control, bootleg. How does anyone sell music anymore? You can't. Everyone bootlegs just shit. No one sells music anymore. It's the truth. That's why music died in the 90s, and the only thing that makes it is fucking burr, 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 dubstep crap, because music is dead. So that's pretty much all I need to rant about in this specific episode. I have some more shit I do want to ramble about, so there will be more episodes coming, but I'm sorry if they've been depressing, but I really need to rant, and since this channel isn't really making me any money, it's really just kind of my hab hobby, this is where I'm going to vent. This is where I'm going to rant, rant, and if you don't like it, don't watch, because no one else is fucking watching anyway. So let's complete these stairs. So um, the next subject is uh, about death. You guys probably will get depressed over it, but I've been thinking about death a lot, and I want to go over how I feel about it. So yeah, it's the next subject in the next video. I think all in all, though, just in this video is, um, like I could talk about dreams some more. Like Music wasn't my only dream. It just, you know, I have dreams. Right now I'm living, I'm trying to live a dream, becoming a YouTuber. I bitched about how it's not working in the last video, but still, there has been dreams that I've lived. Like, I have a beautiful daughter. And honestly, I want to do nothing with my life but watch her grow and be successful for her. Like, I don't want to get a shitty job and have to be away from her all the time. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that father that oh yeah you know i was i was there for my girl you know i worked night and day and put food on her plate and a roof over her head. that's not being there for your child i'm sorry i hate when people say that being there for your child is seeing her first steps is helping her with her problems being there for your child is all that stuff being there for your child is not going oh yeah i put food on her plate man yeah man i got a fucking job and i took care of my own that's not that's being a good father. That's taking care of your kid. Yeah, but nah, man. I'm sorry. I just don't count. Man, I hate people who are like, yeah, I took care of my child. I never get to see my child. But you know what? I pay. I pay for this and that. I pay for everything for my child. I work my ass off for my kid. But I never get to see her. You know, I can't be like that. Like, I don't want to be that dad. My life goal right now is to make it on YouTube where I can at least get $1,000 a month. That is triple what I make now. So I need triple the views of what I get now, which is just a few thousand views in each video. I've been doing this for four years. It shouldn't be that hard, but it is. None of you guys watch anything I post. If I had a Pacific game that you guys actually watch, I would cover it, but I don't. You guys don't specifically watch Minecraft anymore. You don't specifically watch anything. 
I just have a group of 200 people that watch everything I post. That was my first death too, by the way. I should have been smarter, but can I be honest? I don't care. I'm in a pretty shitty mood if you can't tell. So that's it for this video. Again, the next subject will be death, which is a touchy subject, I'm sure, but we'll see what we get to and we'll see what we do. Because I've been doing shit. I made this very, very ugly tower, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, I make these to ramble and no one else will really watch it, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to log back out and maybe I'll give my character again. I don't know. I died and my character disappeared. Weird. Talk to you guys later. Dust can fly.